Hello, and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Banner Saga. This is part two of my series. And we are, if I remember correctly, just done with clearing out a mead hole from rebels called Scalflings. We were asked to head down to the docks to meet some uh, royal visitors. So let's go see what they want. Alright, here we are. We're meeting somebody called Vognir, it seems. Familiar Varl, so we know him. We knew him when he was young, so we call a younger version tramping around the halls of Grofheim. Abundant in purpose. Not sure if he can be abundant in purpose, but this guy is. Ubin, you're looking ancient. No, we're not. That's rude. It comes with being old. It's a very undesirable side effect. And if there is Vognir, there must be Hakon. Maybe they're brothers. And there's Hakon asking if there must. Still bleeding tributes from the poor and stupid, old Yox. At what age do you lose a sense of shame? What's a Yox? If somebody knows, do comment. Jorinder demands it. I'll take... No. I'll take that over lingering to death in Grofheim. Speaking of... I had no sense that you were so far from home. Just returned from Arborang, in fact. And glad for it. Hakon motions to other ships in the bay. Sails still fluttering. Golden Wolfhead emblazoned in red. The king of men, or someone on his behalf. Maybe Arborang, or whatever that was. It's the capital of men. The king's whelp. So, the prince. The king's son, Ludin. Don't you know, Scrivener? We visit his cap capital. He visits ours. It's how you make alliances these days. It's a miserable waste of time. Is it though? It brings peace. Although, it seems like he wouldn't want peace. Yes, Hakon has it. I'd almost forgotten. It's a good thing you're around, Hakon. He is full of sarcasm. I like it. Then you're going to Grofheim? I have a distinct feeling I have finished my business in Strand. I was heading there myself. We should caravan. We should. Give it a day. In better circumstances, I'd drink a week away. But, ah. Uh, let's just be done. Find me tomorrow at the gates. What he's trying to say is, the prince is a delight to behold. Yeah, they don't seem to like the prince at all. Where's Mogger? Mogger? Mogrin? Mognir? I'm gonna call him Mognir. Sounds better. Mognir. Hakon, have him find a place to put up the warriors. I'm heading up to meet the governor. A host of giants depart in his wake. You recognize a few, others are strangers. Guess I'm off to find Mognir. See you in the morning, Scrivener. I'll be along. Okay. So the Prince of Men is coming off, brushing off his tunic, scanning the beach with low eyelids. Ludin looks for all the world the sort of boy who grew up pulling the legs of spider. The long road back to Grofheim should be more interesting than most years, you think. How delightful. I don't think I ever ripped off the legs of spiders. Sounds like a horrible thing to do. Werner suddenly settles in and you chuckle to yourself about what an odd day it has been. One of the governor's men at the Great Hall could find you a place to sleep. Ooh, so I'm gonna sleep in the Great Hall. On the other hand, if you're going to join Wagner's caravan, caravan tomorrow, it might not hurt to share a drink with Hakon, or introduce yourself to the prince they spoke so highly of. Right. Okay, does this mean I have a choice? Okay, I could... It could either be that I can't talk to both and I go to bed, or... I go to bed, miss out talking. I talk to him, miss out on sleep and Ludin. Go to Ludin, miss out on Hakon and sleep. Which would be... Sad, so I'm gonna go talk to Hakon, because... Yeah. Hello. You find Hakon in a mead house, surrounded by other Varl. Strand is no stranger to Varl, but rarely sees this many. Hakon wa waves you over. Went straight for a flagon. Flagon? Flagon? Something? Vognir's the one who agreed to pass up a drink. I wasn't invited to the governor's hall anyway. You already missed the massacre. 
Actually, why is he holding his axe in a mead hole? Shouldn't he put that down? Every year I make the rounds collecting taxes. Every year it's the human settlements that give me trouble. No surprise. What happened this time? Oh, just you wait. When I got here, the great hall was already full of bodies. We added a few more. Yeah, a few. Humans. I guess if I only lived as long as a yox fart, I might be desperate to make something of myself too. What is a yox? I need to google a yox. It's not too late to start trying, Hakon. Hakon lets slip a low chuckle. Any Val could recount his deeds, known as he is for cutting a swathe through the dredge through dredge at Wagner's side in the Second War, and regularly since then. So he's a hero of something. A war hero. Down here I'm a glorified bodyguard. You might have a point. Just another reason to get back to Grofheim. Soon enough, I imagine. You drink until the mead house becomes overbearing, then step back into the cooler outside. Okay, so I can do all three. <clears throat> right, so let's uh, have a talk to Ludin then. Let's see what he's like. Is this the right place? You find the prince at an inn. Guards blanket the building, including a sharp-eyed Varl who must be working for Ludin. A woman in red eventually waves you over and stands nearby, arms crossed. Does that say woman? Did you describe him as a woman? Or is there somebody else who just works for him? Greetings, Prince Lubin. He is wearing red. I need to look that look back at that in the recording. Did they call him a woman? Yes, you're with Wagner? I don't remember you. No, but yeah, I'm a friend of Wagner's. I'll be joining you back to Griffheim with my guards. Ludin looks up for the first time. The woman doesn't... No, okay, so there's a woman next to him, okay. Why? Is it a rude question? I work for the king, carrying tithes to the capital, and crossed by chance. A tax collector, fine company. Well, the same could be said for you, prince. What do you want? Just, um, I hope to learn more about you. Recording history. A viral historian. Don't you already know, your king and mine both have been practically trumpeting it through the cities. Well, I've been on the road, I'm afraid, so I don't know. Looting takes a deep sigh. Whether tired or ungracious, you aren't certain. Maybe both. Probably bro both. Formality, mostly. Wagner came to our capital in Arberang, and now we go to the Vals capital in Grofheim. To cement this grand alliance for the next age of men and Varl. He does not sound impressed. Yeah, you sound unconvinced. There's no need for it. And it's damned cold up here. You get the sense he's struggling not to complain outright. outright. You take the opportunity to excuse yourself. Yeah, okay. I see what Wagner and Hakon was talking about. I don't like him. Let's go. Let's go to bed. At dawn. You're awoken by a deliver of goods. At least, you think it's dawn. Damn hard to tell with, the su with a sun that never moves. The governor's crest adorns the supply leathers. All there, just as promised, to your mild surprise. You wonder if Eric had anything to do with that. Probably. I wonder if it's possible to them um, not give the double demand thing, depending on what you do. Her guards take the treasure wagon down to the gates. Wagner's already there. A while later, Luden and his men appear, groggy and disheveled. Mognir steps forward. Wagner's quartermaster, if you recall correctly, are in charge of its unwieldy entourage of warriors. You know him only in passing. He asks if you're ready to depart. And since the game doesn't give me any other choice, yeah, we're ready. So let's go. You follow Mognir and, and join the others. Usually, the smaller doors set into the gates would be enough to enter or leave the city. But the town guards have been told to push them open entirely. They mutter things under their breath that are best not heard. How rude. Perhaps the governor expected you to draw a crowd, but there's nothing of the sort. Just frustrated, tired people. It summarizes the strand well as a whole, you think. Alright, so we've left the city. We're out on the road. We have a caravan here. Oh, this game's beautiful. 
I love the art style. So you can see another city back there. Small one over here. Um, this looks like, yep, yeah, that's the day counter of how long we've been on the road. This shows how many days of supply we still have. I'm assuming bad stuff happens when it runs out. Here we have, oh, great morale. We have 366 of our, ooh, what's this? The caravan stops for the day. A gift, says Mognir, cracking open meat casks. From our gracious friend, the governor of Strand. Hours pass with ra ra raucous, raucous, something. Raucous laughter as the meat is passed throughout the camp. And we are going to... We're gonna... We're gonna drink a lot, I think. Just not... It's not often you get to... You get the chance to relax on the road. The odds of something happening to the treasure cart is low, especially in this company, so you take advantage. Good. Aha. You rise groggily. The campsite... A casualty of merriment. Mognir is already kicking warriors awake when you spot Ludin stalking your direction. He sidesteps sleeping bodies. We better wake up, you nudge Mognir. You're ready. You're needed. Are you ready? What? What am I even saying? Right, so Vognir is talking. It's Ludin. Always a pleasure. You look well rested. Vognir releases a caged yawn and receives a hard eyed stare in return. How long to grow him? He's always so straight to the point when he talks, I don't like him. We're only two days out of Strand, you know. Come, I'll show you on a map. So we're gonna see a map now. World map, click and drag to look around. Portrait icon shows where your caravan is. Click any location to get some history. And then click it. Okay, so we're here. Just outside of Vetterfell, we left Strand, which is around here. We are going to Grofheim. Where is Grofheim? No, I don't care about Setterland. Grofheim? Does anybody see Grofheim? Oh, Grofheim. So it's, oh, it's there. Between two spares. By the King's Barrow. So we're gonna go north. Past the, the hanged man, then turn east until we reach Grofheim. Cool. Seems like a big world. I wonder if we're gonna see all of this. That's cool. I like it. We head north, then east, past the forts. Yeah, pretty much what I said. Grofheim's far from Strand, going to be a long march. Uh, and I double clicked by accident. Well, why not take the ships to S Grimmerstead? What's the point of marching? Silverstone Bay is called that for a reason. It stays covered in ice all year and it would tear up the longships. Too bad though. We could have shown you all the wonders of Scrim Scrimmerstead. A half sunken city crawling with dredge, Prince. Dredge and glaciers. Do you like glaciers? <laughs> Ludin exhales through the nose. A poor disguise for his contempt. He turns and bats aside the tent flaps as he goes, barking at his company in the distance. Don't poke the anthill, Vognir. He seems no happier to be here than you. True, but he is a rude little... idiot. Spend a few more days with the boy, old friend, and you'll be looking for a tall cliff to hop off to. Yeah. Lute has got a shorter wick than Hakon. Thanks, Vognir. Let's get moving. Another half day to Vetterfell if we're lucky. Right, so this is the camp where we manage your caravan. During travel, you can enter camp at any time by clicking the camp button on the. Oh, what did I? I just pushed down something on the table. You can enter the camp at any time by clicking the camp button on the travel HUD. While at camp or in towns, you can upgrade your allies or equip items in the hero's tent. You can pass time pass time by using the rest tent. Resting will improve the caravan's morale. A higher morale will reduce casualties in war and affect your willpower in combat. Each passing day will use supplies, so only rest when necessary. 
The training tent will allow you to safely try out any characters in a mock battle. Click leave at the bottom of the campsite when you're ready to go back to the road. Okay. Let's just... <sighs> right. So they want me to click the hero's tent. Click on a unit to view stats, promote ranks and learn what to build these. So this is the party rooster. I only have these guys. Turn order. Can I? Ah, I can change the turns. Ooh. This is Gunnolf, rank 1 Warhawk. Click on the ability button to learn about the unit's abilities. So he has Tempest, which is the swinging thing that we saw him use before, that we used before. We can promote him, because he has 3 kills out of 2. Let's do that. Promotion. Uh, yeah. So, increase stats and increase your item rank. I have no idea what the item rank is. But, alright. Let's continue. Ah, so you pay with renown to promote. Good. And now I have 2 points. Okay. So, what do I want to level up? He has a ton of strength. Doesn't have very much defense. I mean, most things had more than 8 damage. So he doesn't have enough. Yeah, let's do 1 there. And then... What's... Oh, come on, there. Yeah, so ability, armor, Strength, willpower, exertion is the amount of willpower you can use on any given action. Breaks the... okay. Yeah, so right now he cannot overexert himself with willpower, which I don't like. So I'm gonna give him one point there. So he's slightly tougher and he can deal more damage. Good. Ludin, Spearmaster. So he's actually a party member that we can use. That's cool. Oh, come on, Hakon. Rank 1 Warmaster. Looks good, lots of damage, good defense. And Mognir, Shieldmaster. Lot of defense, not so good attack. Deals quite a bit of damage to shields, okay. I think that's it, yeah. So let's go out. Now. I think that while we're here at camp, I'm going to end this uh, episode here, and on the next time we will have a look at the training, We and we'll keep moving, we'll get back on the road. But for now, I hope that you've all enjoyed watching this, I hope that you share this with your friends, I hope you like this video, I hope you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And please leave me a comment letting me know what you think. If there's anything that can be improved, I will be very glad to do so. Or if you just want to state your opinion, then I will happily see what you think. So thank you for watching, and I'm sorry if it's been a slow episode, actually. It's been a lot of just reading, but I'm sure it will pick up next time. So thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye!